Wait, wait, wait. Huh? Oh, Start already. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I forgot my script. <laughs> yeah. So it's been a while since I've done this. Like I've uh, basically uh, I locked myself at home for two years to do this. So this is my first time showing it to the public. Uh, I've shown it to Sao Xiong one year ago, but he wasn't like super interested. He was like, uh, does it do health tracking? <laughs> I was like, okay, no, this is financial tracking. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, so this is prudent. Okay, I'll, I'll get to the, 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 the CPF uh, transaction passing and uh, uh, OCBC file passing in a bit. Okay, so but before that, right, uh, it all comes in a package. Uh, so this is something that I've been doing uh, to really solve some of my, uh, my issues with uh, tracking finances. Okay, so it's an it's an editor basically. It's an editor for Ledger CLI, right? How like how you have an editor for some other things, uh, like <laughs> like code, right? So so this one actually there's a syntax highlighting. Okay. Uh, okay. So this is a, a journal that's open already, right? So this is Cody's journal. Uh, okay. So there's two elements to this editor. There's the Obviously, the code editing part, I mean the, the text editing part, and that's the reporting part, right? So with the reporting, there's, uh, there's the month cut, right? So this here is like, you know, every single month, right? You can actually see your, your income for that month, your expenses, and, you know, income minus, minus expenses is the profit, and uh, you can track your net worth and your overall cash minus uh, debt. Okay, so this is a, a fake data, any, by the way, just in case anyone is wondering. I, I didn't get like 18 million in October out of nowhere. <laughs> I wish. But I, I simulated that, right, like a lottery, like a windfall, right? So, yeah, you can actually move between your years uh, easily. Like, this is 2019, there's obviously no data yet. So, this gets to uh, December, right? Okay, you can also drill down, for example, in, uh, yeah, I want to see, right, like why from September to October, uh, there's an income increase of 18 million. <laughs> <laughs> so essentially, it's like, okay, there's an 18 million gift to my account in October, right? So you can actually drill down. So uh, I think uh, you were complaining about Ledger CLI very irritated, like hard to remember the syntax, right? So I had the same problem. Like I love Ledger CLI. So everything here is Ledger CLI. But I have a, I find it very irritating to have to like type, you know, because um, like Git, I'm okay, you know, typing. But somehow with Ledger, you need like a long, long time to get used to it. But so I made this with React. So this whole thing is React. Uh, okay, what's next? Okay, you can also drill down on like say uh, other things like expenses, but I'm not going to do that since it's quite obvious. You can also drill down on like accounts, right? Like asset minus uh, liabilities equals net worth, right? So, yeah. So all of this, right? There's no database here. So all of this is past uh, like real time, right? So for example, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get to that, okay? But let me just uh, show something else. Okay, so another aspect is um, you can actually do uh, multi-commodity, right? So for example, in, uh, you know, just, just click this. So your net worth may be, you know, 200,000 in, in cash, five in Apple shares, and some other things like bought at, the different, bought at different times, which means it has actually different values. And it could even have it in like any commodity like ships. Like I have, you know. <laughs> yeah, you can use emojis. Because it's like, you know, it's declared like this here. The price is like, okay, one ship, 1,080. And I have uh, two ships. <laughs> so, so anyway, if you come back to this, it actually translates back to Sing dollar or US dollar. It doesn't really bother what dollar it is, but this is Sing dollar. It's actually USD as well. Um, okay, uh, okay. There's also the date scoper. You can actually like, for example, this is like my uh, okay. This is not a good thing. Like for example, income, right? So this is the income for May. But if I want to know like my 2018 income, 
we just click on uh, year and it shows me the 2018 income okay so this is like I was saying like it's real it's real time so I can actually go anywhere here I'm gonna do it at the bottom but I can actually okay come here home say if I you know somehow I got some other windfall in in May of 2018 right I can actually just oh shit I haven't even imported stuff <laughs> oh eat <it's> my <laughs> okay 2018 December uh, 25 okay oh shit so I just want to show you this very quickly assets savings okay so this is uh, ledger tax right but typically you won't want to do this okay so I got another million right uh, income gift in uh, sorry in uh, probably better for me so see the moment I save it right the there's this the, the they actually share the same redux state if uh, you know you use redux right um, so this is a redux state that is a redux state okay uh, that I mean that is a different how do you call that like the the view of you know share that, that actually eats from the same redux states okay so now I'm gonna go to import so like I was uh, mentioning in the title of the present, uh, the, the, the demo, uh, okay, so you can actually import OCBC sample. It's not as easy as you think, right? Okay, like, okay, it actually does all of this already. If you see, right, it's not as, it's not a CSV file, uh, OCBC sample. I mean, it's a CSV file, but it's a little bit unique. Uh, Okay, anyway, probably better with this. Yeah, so, yeah, you see, it's not like CSV, right? There's a lot of, like, you know, stuff like this. And there's, like, stuff like one transaction, actually two line. So you can't really use a CSV processor. But anyway, I'll talk about how I do it later. But here, you can actually change commodity. It actually recognizes your, your, your ship and all that. <laughs> okay, and you can actually change the accounts that it... Uh, uh, that you can assign to. So now I confirm. It goes here. The moment I save, right, realize that, like, you see, all of the other, you know, the state changes as well, okay? So if I try to import again, right, you see here, there's actually this hash here, okay? So when I import again, right, it actually uses the hash to make sure that there's no duplicate. So it will suggest to you not to include it, right? So yeah. So it works with uh, the CPF PDF file as well. How do you pass the PDF? Yeah, so everything is NPM here. So I didn't like have a lot of, so I use a lot of NPM, like yeah, just to do this. <laughs> but the, the PDF is, like if they change the schema, then the whole thing will break, right? Oh uh, yes, yeah. <laughs> Alright, if it's like... There's a third party NPM package that is already passing it. Yeah, there's a third party NPM package that I use. I can't remember what package really. Yeah. So even even the OCBC one has like some form of uh, NPM. Uh, there's like some uh, parsing involved as well. It's not just a CSV comma comma thing. <laughs> it's like actually proper parsing. Uh, okay, um, okay. I have uh, I have the, the the source. Okay, there's a Keith importer as well. I actually can import Keith as well. Keith or Chief. Okay, so yeah, I have one minute left. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. In the interest of, interest of time, this is the Keith thing. So there's a. I actually made it easy for you for for anyone who wants to create their own importer right there's uh i've documented it here like so like the features are here as well uh there's a website that you can go to yeah so uh you can actually click on documentation and download it here so the all these features are documented here and uh how to create your own extensions is actually here so there's like uh, pre-made uh, packages on, on GitHub, uh, or I mean on, on NPM that you can just uh, require and then you can just start. So you can, uh, you can just have your parsing in between this, uh, this, I mean within this function. And it actually shows you how to actually get your, 
your what I call extension, right? All of these are extensions into uh, this uh, file over here. Okay, I have 23 scans. Any questions? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Is it open source? Uh, the part, the uh, the parsing, the what's that called? The extension and all that is open source. The OCBC parser and the CPF parser is not yet open source because uh, it's like super messy yet. But the PDF parsing part is open source. Can you kind of uh, yeah. let us see it or put it on the website or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's actually on this website. Uh, because I would love, love to use OCBC thing. Ah, okay, yeah. Everything here is on, on, on here. It's just that some are still in, uh, in binary and... Uh, sorry. Some are still in binary, but uh, the source code is actually here. github.com slash puddenme here. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. So, so do, you, do you want to build it as a product that, that people will... It's my side project, uh, yeah. So I plan to make it like sublime text like that. Yeah, so maybe not totally open source. Mostly because uh, there's a lot of effort already and it's like super messy <laughs> still yet. But uh, you know, yeah, I don't know what's the plan yet, honestly. But uh, yeah. Yeah, donate to me. Yeah, donate to me. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, because then, then people would feel like yeah. better because it will be open source and they will yeah. still give you money, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. you can have fun use that ad right. in your yeah. language. Yeah. 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 It's, it's oh. super useful for, for practical yeah. questions, right? One thing that I did, right, actually a few months ago, uh, I actually sent this to H, the author of H Ledger, Simon Michael, and he really liked it as well. So, and he actually encouraged me to like open source it as well. Yeah. So yeah, I'll think about it. <laughs> right. Thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you.